Rysisty. Czarny dzisiaj w ogóle nie chce spać, dlatego postanowiłam przeczytać mu małą syrenkę. To jest kolejna bajeczka na dobranoc. No to co? Zaczynamy? Tak jest, Czarny będzie dzisiaj czytał razem ze mną. The Little Mermaid In the old days, beautiful mermaid lived at the bottom of the sea. One day the youngest found a marble statue of a young boy in the wreck of a ship and then she wished to meet people. The elder sisters told her, people are bad and instead of a tail they have legs so they are not able to swim as good as we are and they die before they live to be 100 years old. Tak jest. But the little mermaid did not believe them. She slipped away from the palace and swam up to the surface of the sea. She was looking with admiration at the unknown world. Suddenly, a big ship appeared on the sea. The mermaid went after it. People on the ship were cheering on the occasion of the birthday party of the young prince. The mermaid thought, huh? It was his status she had found. <laughs> Suddenly a storm started. The lightning hit the ship and it started sinking. Seeing what was happening, the mermaid swam to help the prince. She embraced him and they went to the shore. She laid the young man on the sand and went back to the water. When the prince woke up, he saw another girl bending over him and he thought she must have been his savior. No, niestety, czarny, niestety. But the mermaid could not forget the prince. She decided to go for help to a witch. I will give you legs and take off the tail, but you have to give me your voice instead. Remember that you will also lose your immortality. If the prince doesn't love you and marries the other girl, you will become seafoam, said the old lady. The mermaid took a sip of an elixir and immediately fell asleep. When she woke up, she saw that her prince was next to her. The waves threw you onto the shore, he said. I almost die at sea. Some girl saved me. In a couple of days we will be married. I hope you will come. Huh. The mermaid thought her heart would break into pieces. After the wedding, she went on deck and started crying. No, to tak, to smutne czary. Her sister heard her crying and emerged from the sea. Kill the prince and you will have your tail again and you will able to come back to the underwater kingdom, she advised. She took a knife and went to the room where the newlyweds were sleeping. But when she looked at them, she understood that she could not break their happiness. The day after, she became sea foam. The end. To już koniec tej jakże smutnej bajki dzisiaj. Ale pamiętajcie, nie wolno się smucić. I zawsze najważniejsze jest szczęście. Szczęście i jeszcze raz szczęście. Także my Wam życzymy oczywiście tego szczęścia, tego happiness i życzymy dobrej nocy. A Ty, Czarny, ma... Uciekamy do spanka, tak? No dobra. W takim razie, good night!